hello um today i want to show off my recent obsession just a little better talk a little bit about it so masala <laughs> i i guess this isn't too recent i um love this place in marquette which uh marquette is like the big city in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. Um, I love this place called Yoop Coop. It's a chicken place, but it's not just any chicken place, okay? Like, I'm obsessed with Yoop Coop. Um, it's, it's delicious. But their, their thing is like all of their sauces, you know? You, you go there, you get all of these um, <clears throat> different sauces that they have. And they used to have one that was called their masala sauce. And it just led me down this rabbit hole. Maybe, maybe masala is like a commonly known thing, but um, I had never heard of it before going there, which is like, I feel crazy saying that now because I'm obsessed, but, um, so they had this sauce that was like a masala, like spiced, delicious sauce for your chicken. It was the best thing in the world, but they got rid of it and I am so upset about it, but you know, it's okay. Um, a fun little treat whenever you, you know, visit Marquette anyway. Um, but it's no longer there. So boo. <laughs> anyway. Um, but it led me down this rabbit hole of masala chai and masala. And what is that? I kept, I was looking it up and I'm like, wow, it sounds like it's, it's all of these spices. It's, it's very reminiscent of chai, often paired with chai. Very cool. Very cool. And, um, I saw this in the store and I was like, wait, they sell like, um, a, a bunch of, of masala spices all in one for you to just put on things and I, it just made me so happy and uh, for for a couple of years now I've been wanting to try a rose masala chai because I'm obsessed with rose and I'm obsessed with chai and pairing those together sounds like a dream right um of course many people make their chai from scratch and that sounds heavenly typically in America <laughs> We're not over here making our chai from scratch. Typically, we are buying tea bags of chai or uh, going to our little uh, cafes, coffee shops, and instead of getting a coffee, we'll get a chai there. But, you know, it's not very often that you see people like making chai from scratch so i'm so sorry to anybody out there who loves making chai from scratch this might be a crime to you this might be maybe one of the worst things imaginable to you i don't know anyway um masala let's read the ingredients together shall we coriander chili, cumin, black pepper, cinnamon clove, dry mango, which was caught me off guard, but I'm very interested in it, salt, anistar, fennel, mace, cassia? I don't know what that is, but also interested. Um, curry leases? I know about curry, but I is curry like is curry leases like the <laughs> a different part of the plant? I don't know. Um, nutmeg, black cardamom, dry ginger, cardamom, and stone flower. How good does that sound? So good. So I've been actually using it a lot lately. I've been putting it in. Uh, I make this. Um, coconut cream or coconut milk um, sauce and I put it over like chicken and rice and roasted vegetables 
and I put it in that along with, um, so I put it in the coconut cream or coconut milk, depending on what you like. I, I've been putting a little bit of this, a little bit of curry, a lot of bit of curry. I, I put a lot in there. <laughs> I like a, a good strong flavor, like kapow, you know. Um, some turmeric. That I do put just a little bit because I, I don't love the taste of turmeric. Um, what else? Ginger. I don't know. I put a lot of um, different spices in there and it's delicious. If you ever want to try that, um, heat that up on the stove and just pour that over your meal and it just elevates it. But I also have been putting it in my tea. Spoiler alert, this is an iced tea. Controversial. Some people get mad at Americans for having iced tea, I guess. I just made a TikTok about how I made this. So if you wanna go see that, you can. But it's so good. Um, and so yeah, that is my chai that I've got. That is the um, rose tea that I've got and this together with some almond sweet cream, a smidge of almond sweet cream over ice and it has been my new favorite thing now i will say about the masala um if you cannot tolerate any spice at all i would recommend just a pinch like a little pinch um but i like spice and the cool thing about this is that it's not like intolerable spice, you know? It's got like um sort of a autumnal sort of a spice, sort of a chai similar, chai-esque spice, you know what I mean? And maybe I'm getting this all, all my information like wrong. Um because I always see masala and chai paired together, but I think they're different things. Anyway. But they both contain a lot of the same spices, no? I don't know enough. All I know is that I love it. <laughs> but yeah, so that has been my new obsession lately. Um, it does get a little, just a smidge spicy, but not overbearing. It's just sort of like this background spice and it is a mix of both savory and sweet or savory and um fall vibes together you know like not like sweet like sugar sweet it's like sweet like a cozy um chai latte or a cozy little spiced drink <clears throat> so it's good. I recommend. I highly, highly recommend. Next on my list is trying to figure out how to make the masala sauce from Yupkoop because um, then when I go back to the big city, <laughs> um, I can, when I'm, whenever I'm in the big city, I can uh, go back to Yupkoop and, and get their chicken again and not feel sad that it's gone and it would be homemade which is even better so anywho that's that have you tried masala have you tried this and does this sound like something that you would like to try um i would like to know i recommend it to anybody who likes sort of cozy warm spices if that's not your thing, you would probably very much dislike this. Anyway, <laughs> that is that. Goodbye.